All right, so it looks like I fucked up. What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are hopefully, hopefully pulling the motor. Um, I have Mike and Casper here to help me. Um, our friend Doug is on the way, so we'll see how this goes. Um, I have the car prepped, kind of. We have blankets and tape and everything ready to go. Um, so we're gonna unbolt the motor mounts and, and see how this goes. Fingers crossed. So it looks like I fucked up because um, it didn't record us pulling the motor out, but she's out. Um, so now we're going to take off the tranny, uh, disassemble a couple of things, get it on the engine stand and go from there. Um, but I think that's going to be it for today. As far as that goes, you'll, you'll probably see a couple of, um, a couple of clips of, of us taking the clutch out, the tranny out and getting this thing on the engine stand. And uh, I'll check in with you then.
All right, the boys just left. The motor is out. Got a nice empty engine bay. Not gonna lie, it was a little nerve wracking taking this thing out. Being that it was my first time doing it. Thankfully I had uh, Greg here and Doug and, and Mike. It was great to have their, uh, their extra hands here. Um, I guess my main worry was not to screw up the frame rails, taking everything out. I don't want to scratch the hell out of this thing. Um, more than likely, just want to keep everything as original as possible. So, um, so yeah, this is where we're at. We're going to power wash everything, clean everything up as much as possible. Disassemble, disassemble the long block, get everything fixed up. See what we can clean up. Um, and that's it. Uh, that's gonna do it. It's kind of, kind of a little sad too. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. It's a little, little weird. But we'll get it back together, get it back up and running. And then as it's up and running, we can enjoy it, build the spare block that we have, and then, and then finally turn it into its final form or closer to that sooner or later. But. Overall, the car is really clean. You know, there's no rust. The subframe is looking good. The, the firewall, the frame rails, everything's nice and clean, which is awesome. I guess that's the main, the main thing about this whole car and why I got it was because of all that. Everything's nice and clean. Um, the clutch came out okay. It still has some life in it. Um, we'll probably resurface the flywheel pop that back in there <clears throat> eventually I already have a clutch picked out that I want to get so that'll be on the next build um, we'll be doing a different intake manifold on the next build so but this is a really good experience get familiar with the car you know to a lot of people this is probably super normal for me it's my first time doing it so it's 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 a lot of unknowns because i don't know this car in and out yet but this is the only way i could learn i think so i guess i just want to uh give my final thoughts on everything put it in a video for those who want to hear it um and that's pretty much it Hope you guys have a good week. Hopefully I can upload this very soon. And uh, I'll definitely catch you on the next one.